This is Sophie Ristewat. I'm a musician, music producer, and director. Join me in praise time with Ophios on 12th December 2021, 9 p.m. UK time, 10 p.m. West African time, live on AP Radio UK and MZ Radio London. Make it a date, don't miss it. This wonderful light to shine. Another version says, Ye are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and we have been called to show forth the praise of God. So that's what we are called to do, to show for the praise of God. This week, as you go, show for the praise of God wherever you are. You are the light of the world. So go on and shine. So I'll be bringing the writer of the song, the music director himself. Um, is a musician, is a producer, is an entrepreneur, is also a singer-songwriter. You know, so God has been using him tremendously. I'm knowing him for a while now, and uh, he's doing great things. Let me bring in him so he can talk more about himself and what God has laid in that. Hello, Mr. Sufri, how are you doing? Hi, Ophios, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me on this platform. It's a, very, yeah. it's a privilege for me to be here. Yeah, it's nice to hear your voice. It's nice to see you after a long while. How are you doing? How's music life? How's life generally? How's your spiritual life as well? <laughs> well, um, thank you for that. I'm, I'm good. I'm doing good generally. Life is good. I mean, you can't complain. You know, life in Christ, it's, it's great, you know. And spiritually, we are also thriving, growing every day in Christ. Um, That's only, good. You know, God, and trusting God as he leads us daily. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I've said to our listeners that you are a music producer, a uh, music director, a musician, a pianist. In fact, you're a psalmist because when you play the keys or the piano, we do feel the presence of God. You're in that office. So apart from that, what do you do? How do you want people to know you? So who is Sofiri Stewart? Um, first of all, uh, primarily for me, I, I want people to see me as a, as a worshiper, as someone who has a heart of worship. I, I love worshiping God and music, especially when it comes to worship, is the primary thing for me. I, I, I love creating an atmosphere where people can worship God. That allows me, first of all, in fact, the way I do is I, I love creating an atmosphere that allows me express my worship to God and in turn allows mm. others that are in that vicinity to also worship God with me. So I enjoy worshiping God and it's like my primary purpose thing. And so I do that with joy, with all my heart. And so that is the main thing about myself. But on the side, there are a few things as well that I pursue that, you know, I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about um, outreach, kingdom business, you know, I'm reaching out to the lost, you know, soul winning evangelism through music and through um, words of encouragement. I'm very much interested in, you know, kingdom prosperity. The Bible says that true prosperity shall, you know, the gospel is spread across. So I'm very, very much passionate about kingdom prosperity and the welfare of the church, the business of the church of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. And also uh, other areas as well in terms of um, business and, and financing as well. So a few other things I do, but primarily mm -hmm. I'm a worshiper at heart. I like that. I like that. Every other thing comes on the being a worshiper, I like that. So when did you start music professionally, if I may say? I've known you since 2012 or so, and you've been playing then. So when did it all start for you? So um, I have been playing since 2007. So playing in church, playing at events. So professionally is when, um, I mean, I, I believe you mean when I thought, okay, this is something I could actually do full time. Yeah, yeah. When you, um, you know, see yourself doing it and doing it, like, oh, yeah, I can make a living out of this or a calling. This is my calling. When you started doing that, like, yes, I, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to do. So I would separate two things. I was professional. I would separate from calling, you know. All right. Professional is talking about, you know, when I do it as a means of income and calling i have always seen it as my calling like even when i was back in nigeria playing i've always seen serving in the area of the um, music department in right. fact that was that was what right. led to me learning the music instrument it was so that i can serve in my church so i've always you know seen that as my calling then professionally wow. i would say in 2015 2016 was when i made the transition into full-time music you know to begin to earn a living all right and that's see, good 
and a professional phone. So, or uh, was it just a talent for you? How did you come about that? I would say it's primarily a talent. In terms of education, I'm actually a biomedical scientist by degree. Oh. That is what I studied. And directing, um, composition, writing, and all of this, I actually, I would say it's a gift from God, and which mm. I develop from understanding all that. Like I, when it comes to music directing, um, there's this guy I, I watched over the years, Ayubami Sowetan, the FWL director. Yeah, I yeah. always, whenever I, I watched him from afar, even before we became close, I always go to FWL and I watch him from afar. I will see everything. My direct, my music direction approach is like, is modeled after him. Wow. Maybe he doesn't know this. Maybe he's listening to this. This might be his first time of Good. Big, hearing big this. to Uncle Ayubami. Yeah. I know I you hear from, from Bradford. <laughs> Sorry? I said we are hailing from Bradford as well. Yeah, so I studied him from afar. I always watch, watch what he does at the F World, and 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 I just I just studied him, and that's the person I modeled my di- music direction after. And then when it comes to composition, I have poured through Hans Zimmer's work over the years. So basically, mm-hmm. many elements, and when it comes to mixing and mastering, there are other people whose work I've studied. But then I also took some um, courses with Goldsmith University, three months course of mixing and mastering took some online music course with Berkeley College and took a few other, just, you know, le- here and there and just to help me grow. But That's it's been like um, personal development. I have actually committed myself to learning those things. I did not go to any music school. I wish oh, I applied to Berkeley College of Music, but I was in the, all the music schools that I applied to. They didn't, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't accept me. It's quite funny, but that's life. Well, you're doing so, so well. You're doing so well. You know, I thought you actually studied music when I hear your right, pieces yeah. and your production, sincerely. So that's good. That's that's so, so impressive. Talk us through your EP, um, Abstract Now. What came about Abstract Now? And what's the message you want us to take away from that EP? Because it, it was so loaded. Yeah. Abstract now happened to be my best work till date. And <laughs> from the feedback I've gotten from everything about abstract, it's just it's just been an amazing uh, journey with that particular project. Uh, let me before I even get into that, but I think three weeks ago, two weeks ago, I spoke to a friend of mine in Nigeria who's been going through so much. And he told me how much abstract now you know has helped him go through tough time. I was like, wow, I mm-hmm. I was really, I was really touched to hear that I received a lot of review on that track and funny I was discussing with a friend today that I almost did not release that project because that is that is the project where that is my most that is the project where I've been my most vulnerable self in terms of exposing myself to the world I mean I've released projects in the past I've released songs but that particular one because it was so personal to me abstract now you, don't, you know abstract the meaning is something you can feel but you don't touch you can touch so that is just the, that's the minimum definition of abstract. And then now I, I was trying to say abstract now. So N O W. But then oh. again, I wanted to use the I did a play with words. So abstract noun N O U N. You know, in English, like abstract noun something you can feel, yeah. and you know. Not touch. So that was why I named it that. I, I I called it that. And it's because of you know the the phase I was then and the phase I'm going through in life. You know, things I'm going through. I thought you know. Let me, because I'm a musician, I express myself in sound. So I capture the things I was going through. So the first track in Abstract Now is So It Begins. So that particular track uh, talks about the joys of new beginning. I don't know if you started a journey and you're so excited about it. And you're just, you know, very eager to start your day. It, it just defines everything about new beginning, marriage, relationship, career, education. Maybe you put to bed, children, all of that. It's a new beginning. And then the, the next one is, is what happens in between. So if you listen mm-hmm. to the track, so the elements I chose, the sound, everything was is reflecting. So in the beginning, is a reflection of what happens in the beginning. The, uh, what happens in between? If you listen to the track, you see that it was so busy. It's like a cyclic sound going around the circle. The motif was just moving around the circle. Basically telling you about the, the business of life. You wake up on Monday, go through to Friday, or to come back again on Monday, go through that circle. till the third track course is titled The End of It All. So if you realize sometimes if you're not careful, you just move around in circle Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, and everything is like until you get to the end. The end is a soundtrack of death, sorrow, 
and you so the person is gone so that was the end of it all and then after that so initially it was just three tracks i did three tracks and these tracks were meant to be released as an ep so on the wednesday of the week of the release i was i was going through just pouring through the track and i heard the lord say in my spirit that it's not the end that for a believer the de death is not the end of it all so the next two tracks you hear which is um uh, what happens after thing what happens after and then in the life after or what's next and then in the life after those life tracks were given to me on wednesday i finished those two tracks on wednesday the tra and the ep was released on friday so the on wednesday i got those two tracks from the lord so the lord told me that as a believer the end of it all is not the end for us there is something that happens next so he now started taking me through this is and when he was explaining it to me uh, the way it happened was he was explaining it to me i was on the piano i was playing and getting the revelation what's next so if you go to what's next the story is about when jesus comes that's why there were elements of trumpet in there what happens next is the soul of a believer who died will resurrect and the particular organ i used the baroque organ there it was like a cyclic motion it just was a description that i got in my spirit of how the soul of the believer travels up at the sound of the trumpet if you play the track you get all these elements when the trumpet blasts the soul of the believer that is dead rises up and moves up, moves up like in a cyclic motion of this. And then the last one was in the life after life in paradise. What happens when we get to heaven? We're in paradise. So that is where you hear the sound. The Bible says we shall gather the river. You hear the elements of the wind, the, the, uh, the water, and everything happening there. And for me, coming from Africa, and I thought I feel like heaven would be like a combination of the Amazon and Africa. So hence you hear the bossa nova elements in that particular track, which is like a reflection of you know what it feels like to be in heaven in paradise so that that's the ep it was just a journey of, of you know myself and i thought i should share it you know with people so just to correct you quickly it's called yev y-e-v-e and it's it's coming from two words your event and also yev is another it's another um it also means in english to serve to give to yield so yev is an online um, booking platform with mobile app you know that provides professional musicians, event vendors, you know, location, and all of these for people who are putting together an event. You know, you mean, if you know me over the years, I have been you know, serving in that area of supplying musicians to churches and covering events. And so we thought, you know what, let us build a platform that offers this, you know, puts it in the hands of the consumer, because that is the world we are in today. You know, a time will come, people wouldn't need to call me anymore and disturb me. I said, see what, I need a drama for an event. I want you to go on the app and, you know, book the drama yourself. So put these things in your hands, put the tools in your hands, the database that you're able to, you know, put together an event. And it's beyond just that, you know, it's a platform that you can actually plan. It's like, it's an event management platform. You can plan, organize and host your events. Everything you want to do concerning event is, it's available on this platform all right you've heard it there it's, yep and it's available on your phone just download the app and book your event how can people reach you if they want to you know maybe book a session with you as a producer or they want you to come and play for them or they even want you to organize their program <laughs> We like, we like, we like clients and we're open for business. So you can reach me on my social media platforms. My handle is Sophie Watt. So S O F I W A R T across all platforms. Um, and LinkedIn favorably, Twitter, Facebook. Um, um, I said, that's a LinkedIn. Sorry, Instagram. I mean, Instagram is my, my most preferred um, platform to reach me. And when if you go on my Instagram, you can get my contact details, you can get my number, you can get my email address, and get in touch with me. I'm very fast responding to clients, very very fast. Because so IG, your IG is the best 